Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are doing a UEFN terrain tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the best custom caves and mountains. I have not seen anyone do this so far that I know of, so I think this is one of the first tutorials covering this. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Let's hop straight into it. So first we're going to create a custom mountain, a nice area where we can put our cave and put a mountain peak. Once you've done that, we're going to use the visibility tool and you're going to turn the brush fall off off and turn down the brush size just to make it a bit easier. And we're going to carve out our cave entrance using the visibility tool so we can actually go inside the mountain. Once you've done that, we're going to go into the modeling mode we're going to go into the create tab and use a torus and what you're going to do is you're going to change the material of it to your landscape material and we're going to drag our cursor onto the screen and just left click to place now once you've done that you're going to go ahead and click accept on the bottom now we're going to resize move and rotate it to mostly fit the gap in our terrain that is the entrance to the cave now, once you've done that, having the object selected, we're going to go into the deform tab. We're going to click dynamic sculpt. Your brush type is automatically going to be set on move. And so we are going to kind of change the size and the strength and move around our torus to blend into our landscape instead of just being a random donut. As you can see, I'm kind of making it blend, making it almost flat with the landscape instead of just a random donut. It's not going to be perfect because I am not going to spend a lot of time on it for this video, just a video. You can obviously make it look better than what I am doing. So once you've kind of set it up, you're going to, you might want to change the entrance of your cave a little bit. So you're going to kind of play around with the size and how it looks. You don't want it to be just a perfect circle. You mostly don't want it to be a perfect circle. You want to kind of make it look like it's got a little shape to it. Now you're going to change your brush type to smooth. Turn down your smoothing strength over here by quite a bit and now smooth around the entire model you just modeled. It'll make it look a lot smoother. And once you're done, you're going to click accept on the bottom. And as you can see, it is almost perfect. There's a couple spots where you can't even tell the difference. There is one spot that I didn't spend quite as much time on, which is the left side. But that's not that big of a deal. You can obviously spend a lot more time on this than me and make it look better and to fit your map better. And you can choose if you want to model an entire cave using the models or you can just use the Fortnite pieces that we have. So like the terrain pieces, like the chapter four one, the normal ones, whatever. And you can use that model you just made, kind of blend it into those other pieces. You can do that or you can just make an entirely custom modeled cave. It just depends on what you want and how much time you have. Making an entire custom modeled cave will take a lot more time than just putting in some Fortnite pieces. So it's up to you what you want to do really. Now we're going to create a custom mountain piece. You're going to go into your create tab and you're going to choose box. Go near your mountain and put the box there and accept. Now resize that box and rotate it and move it around to fit with your mountain just to make it a little bit easier. Now we're going to go into deform while having the box selected and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this for this video, but you can smoothen it out. And one thing I will tell you that you need to do is you need to change your tool to smooth, turn up the size and just smooth around the entire box or you're gonna end up with some messy junk that you don't wanna have to deal with. So go ahead and just smooth the entire box. And for this video, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but you can use something like the sculpt brush type to kind of make the peak of the mountain and the overhang kind of. You have to spend a lot of time on it. I'm going to cut to where I'm kind of done but it's basically the same idea as the cave. You smooth it around to smooth to fit your terrain and use the different tools you find, which you should be able to figure out how to use them yourself because they're pretty self-explanatory. The normal ones, at least. You use those tools and 
create your custom mountain peak. Once you're done, go ahead and click accept and there you have it. There is your custom mountain piece. If you smoothed out all the right spots, then it should look almost seamless. Obviously you can make it look a lot better than I did because I did not spend a lot of time on this. So you can spend as much time on this as you want. Also one thing I should mention, for your caves, you need to add this object or else your caves are going to be kind of broken in game. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to this tab where it's kind of like a box and it has plus symbol. It's going to be called place actors and you're going to go into the volumes tab and add for underground volume. Once you have that in there, you're going to move it to where your cave is and kind of resize it to engulf your entire cave or else your game can get really glitchy when you're underground. So as you can see, I'm kind of moving it to where my cave would be and kind of and covering it all and once you've done that it's all set up now we're going to go ahead and launch a session to see what it looks like so now we're in game this is what our cave and our mountain peak looks like up there as you can see our cave looks pretty good mostly seamless as you can see right here you can tell the grass goes away but it's not that big of a deal you can go in here and up here is our mountain peak although you can't see the grass you could probably throw something like a color picker grass on here it'd make it look better you can see there's a couple little lines that's probably just means we didn't use the smoothing tool enough there you go you have a custom cave and mountain tutorial if you guys like this video don't forget to like and subscribe turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video leave some video ideas down in the comments below because i definitely need some I hope you guys have a good nice day. Don't forget to use code Animexine in the Fortnite item shop if you want to support me. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.